Today I will teach you to crochet lily of the valley pendants. The basic materials that are needed are green and white for strand lines. If it's green, it's about 5 grams, then the white color is about 10 grams. The basic tools used are these scissors, then there is crochet, suture needles and marker buckles. Next, let's start crocheting. This pendant mainly has four lily of the valley flowers and one leaf. And then there's this lanyard composition. Let's start by crocheting lily of the valley flowers. The first lap is a magic ring 6SC single crochet. The winding wire forms a loop on the middle finger. Within this circle we crochet 6SC. Let's take a look at the demo. This is the first short needle. You can put a marker on the first pin. It is convenient to determine the position of the first needle. Then we hooked the six stitches. After the six stitches are hooked, we find the thread ends, tighten this coil. Then find the location of the first needle. In the position of the first stitch SSSL straight ship stitch. Find the location of the first needle. Place this thread on the crochet needle. Let's hook a ship stitch. Hook a chain at the end. Let's all remember, after each hook, hook a ship stitch, CH. Then we crochet the second loop. The second lap is 6 ink increase. Let me show you a set of ink hooks. Hooking two SC in the same needle is called ink. Then we repeat the hook for the next time. The third lap is a SC1 ink. Repeat for 6 sets. Let's see the demo. Hook a SC first. Then hook an ink. It's just 2 SCs. Repeat the hook like this. After the lap is completed, the 4th to 7th circles are all crocheted 18 SC without adding or subtracting. Everyone does it themselves. The eighth lap is a SC and deck as a group. Repeat crochet for six sets. Hook the loop. Let's take a look at the demo. Hook a SC first. Then crochet a deck. Repeat the hook. In the ninth lap, we had to crochet a total of six petals, so we are two needles in a group. Let's take a look at the specific crochet method. In the first pin, hook a SC, then hook an HDC half double crochet. Continue to hook a DC double crochet in this needle. This needle is complete. Then we move on to the next needle. Hook a DC first. Then hook an HDC. For the same needle, we hook another SC. This is done with one petal. Then we repeat the hook loop. After completing the lap, we ship stitch with the first stitch. A CH in the hook can break the thread. 
In this way, a lily of the valley flower is complete. We need to crochet three more of the same lily of the valley flowers. Next, let's change the green line. Start hooking the leaf part. Hook 18 chains first. After the CH is finished, we rewind to and crochet back. Hook a chain first. Then go to the next stitch mesh hook SC. Next stitch crochet HDC. To the next needle hook a DC. The next two stitches are DC. After the completion of the 3D CS, the next pin head hook is an HDC. The next hook is ASC. Crochet a shape stitch under the needle order. The next needle SC. HDC The next 3D CS Next HDC Next one is C. And then we have one needle left. Crochet a shape stitch in this order. In the hook ACH. Go ahead and hook a shape stitch in this needle. We are done later. To the other side of the CH, start crocheting. It's the same with the other side. It's symmetrical. SC HDC 3DCS After the completion of the HDC, SC, go on, SC. HDC 3DCS HDC After that's done, we ship stitch with the first stitch. 
Who could C H break the line? Next, we start hooking the lanyard part. The lanyard consists of two short and one long in total. Let's start with the short lanyard. All of them are started by CH. Then crochet to the right length 20 to 25 CH. Just leave a long line to break the line. Leave it on a little longer. Wait and we need to combine on top of the long. And then hook the same one. Our long lanyard hooks up to a certain length later. Let's take this part of this short lanyard. I knit it with this long crochet. Let's take a look. First, pinch the long thread together like this. And this long line is pinched together. Then wrap the wire together. Pinch the position of this CH. Then hook out the wire. In this way, we put a short lanyard. Crochet on a long lanyard. Then we go ahead and put this long lanyard. Hook to the desired length. It's almost after. Let's pull this line out first. Then we use a suture needle. Sew it onto this leaf. After wearing the suture needle, the position of this line from the middle. Pull this lanyard out. Then pull the line out. You can leave this line a little longer. Then it's good to break the wire. After passing through like this, it's the same on the other side. And then we pick this middle place. Thread the needle through. Then pull the lanyard out. That's it. Let's sort it out. And then the other side of the words, we are still hooking the same way here. So this short lanyard to this long lanyard. After we assemble this leaf and lanyard, that's about what it looks like. Then we put the lily of the valley flowers. It's good to fix it on this tail end. We thread this end to the suture needle first. The suture needle is then threaded through this flower head. Thread the lanyard through this flower head. After passing through, we tie a knot.
cut off this thread. Probably like this, a lily of the valley flower is ready. Then we put all four lily of the valley flowers on top. After the assembly is completed, our lily of the valley pendant is crocheted.